Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about pulmonary hypertension in pregnancy. So pulmonary hypertension develops as a cardiac disease in either Eisenmerger syndrome which is most common, either idiopathic or secondary to chronic pulmonary thromboembolism. Connective tissues disorder like scleroderma, sickle cell disease or sometimes mitral stenosis. Mitral stenosis is also an important cause. Now, it's always dangerous whenever you find that the pulmonary hypertension is there, it is always dangerous. The mortality rate is 40%. It is because of unability to develop increased pulmonary blood flow during excursion or labor. Now, what is management? Once you find this kind of patient, if they are not pregnant yet, tell them not to go for pregnancy if they are already pregnant and if they are it is feasible option of termination give them that option if still patient wants to do that yes i want to go further with this uh, pulmonary hypertension multidisciplinary approach should be there vasodilation therapy should be used vasodilators should be used uh, but still it's still dangerous Thank you, friends.